So feel how he slows down and try to get him before he goes so slow, okay? And you were correct to begin with, so change your rising again. Good job. So keep your hands forward and try to keep them quiet. So again, feel him slow down there. So he's going to walk because he's going so slow that he's going to break. And I don't want you having to nag him and potentially dull him. So when you feel him slow down, you give him one big push, maybe a tap tap if the legs don't work. But do it before he gets so slow, when he begins to slow down. Yeah, good job. So you have to be careful that when you use your stick, you don't pull on the rein, okay? So you just hit your own leg, you just smack your own thigh, and the tip of the whip will tickle him. That was better, much better. You kept him going by the door there. Good job. And then slow your, slow your rising for a downward transition. Tighten your tummy a little bit. You got to, good job. You got to control your whip though too. So when you, when you slowed your rising, your whip was kind of straight behind you and hovering over his haunches. And he didn't, wasn't sure. You know, that's a possibility that he wasn't sure if you really wanted him to slow. Okay, so let's try that again. Go ahead and trot. Try to get your half halt in there. One big squeeze with your legs. If he doesn't listen, tap, tap, and squeeze again. Go ahead and check your diagonal. Go ahead and change it. Change your diagonal. Good. Okay, keep them going. Forward, forward. Push, push. Good. And now, keeping your whip under control, keeping your thumb facing up and the whip just at your knee maybe. You're going to slow your rising, tighten your tummy a little bit, stretch up. Sit back. Good. And tell him he's a good boy. <laughs>